Good greetings to everyone. Myself, Rosina Sheikh, a PhD student from the Department of Biochemistry, Babu Aurangabad. Today, I'm presenting a seminar for my pre-PhD coursework under the guidance of Dr. Vikas Shende. My seminar topic is phytochemical analysis for pest management. A pest is any plant, animal, or any organisms that can harm humans in respect to health, food, and living condition. My work emphasizes more on insect as pests, which can cause adverse effects and damaging impacts on agricultural production, market access, and even on natural environment. The examples are aphids, bees, and moths. There are different methods which are utilized for pest management, like chemical control, host player, plant resistant, genetic control, biological control. Most of the recent techniques rely on the uses of chemical pesticides. To limit the harmful effect of chemical pesticides, one can uh, think of an alternative method like integrated pest management, which is an ecosystem-based strategy that focuses on long-term prevention of pest and their damages, which can be achieved through combination of one or more method because of which there would be least possible hazards. To achieve this, one can go for the study of role of phytochemicals uh, as pesticides. The mechanism of phytochemicals as pesticides depends upon phytochemicals as well as the pest, which includes repellents, inhibition, denaturation of proteins. Some phytochemical pesticides can also affect the enzyme activity required for the growth and development of insects. Some phytochemical pesticides like uh, from pyrethrum have been reported to have neurotoxic effects, which causes paralysis and death. Phytochemistry is the study of phytochemicals, the chemicals which are extracted from plants. They are grouped as primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. Primary metabolites are the chemicals uh, which have definite role in the metabolism. They, have, uh, they are essential for growth, development, and reproduction. Whereas secondary metabolites, they are derived from primary metabolites. They are very complex in nature. They have various functions like chemical adaptations to the environmental stress. Some of them act as a defensive chemical agents against pests. Secondary metabolites are grouped as alkalides, which are nitrogen containing heterocyclic rings, terpenoids, which are derived from terpenes and are having oxygen in the functional group, glycosides, which are chemicals made up of carbohydrate and a non carbohydrate group. The procedural steps required for the experimentations are identification of a suitable plant say, a source, then extracting the chemicals from that plant source then checking the uh, chemicals which are present in that source that is called as phytochemical screening, then purifying a specific metabolite, identifying the functional group present uh, in that metabolite, then interacting that metabolite with the pest and seeing its impact on the life cycle of the pest. To achieve all these different experiments have to be followed like Extraction, which is a treatment of plant tissues with a solvent like water, methanol, or ethanol, because of which the important constituents will get dissolved. And then from that crude samples, the sample is extracted by different methods like maceration, infusion, or soxalate. After this is done, the phytochemicals are tested in that sample, that is phytochemical screening, which can be done by different methods like testing of alkaloids can be done by Hager's method, testing of phenol can be done by fallen keocalcum method. Once the phytochemicals are screened, then the purification of specific metabolite can be done by chromatographic methods like TLC, HPLC, GC, or uh, non-chromatographic methods like steam distillation and fractional crystallization. When the sample is purified, then the identification of the molecular formula, molecular structure, functional group can be done by one of these methods like GCMS, LCMS, NMR, or FPIR. Then that metabolite is interacted with the insect and its impact on its life cycle is seen. At the end, I would like to conclude that pest is one of the major concern for humans. And the use of phytochemicals as pesticides is one of the most reliable, safe, and economical method. One of the major challenges is that the phytochemical which is effective for one pest may not be effective for the other. And that's why lots of studies have to be done in this area. Thank you.